Ajayte Annan. Welcome to Afro Films Talk Show. Um, lovely to have you. Um, you are here in London. What brings you to London? Well, um, basically uh, the premiere of the movie Double Cross, um, which is a Ghanaian movie. Um, but of course, the executive producer uh, thought that, look, um, the fact that it's a Ghanaian movie doesn't mean that it should only be premiered in Ghana. Um, we have um, a huge fan base here, and so why not you know, premiere it here? Um, you know, when you visit our fan pages, you know, we, we, we have calls from our fans based in the UK yeah. that look, we should bring in the movies to, to premiere there and bring in the actors for them to interact with, yeah. to take pictures with and all, all, all that. And so she thought that, look, why not? Let's do it here. Yeah. And so that was basically how um, she got in touch with me and said that, look, uh, why don't I come along uh, so that we have this premiere together. Is the producer a lady? Yes, um, she's, she, well of course there are about three producers, yeah. um, one of one is Amaki Albrese, yeah. who, who was also an actress in the movie, yeah. um, then we have two gentlemen oh. behind oh. the scenes. Right, besides. okay. So, Double Crush, um, how do you personally relate to the movie Double Crush? Well, I think that the, the subject is a universal one, but personally, um, you know, especially with what's happening in Africa back home, um, there's there's a tendency for us to feel that we should take the law into our own hands sometimes. Yes. And but then I think that one of the angles that the the, the, the subject throws um, light on is when we react and respond, are we responsible for our actions? Yeah. You know, um, because our actions would have ripple effects. Yeah. You know. Um, generations after us, you know, because of what we do today. Yeah. Uh, and that's one angle that the, the, the story threw light on. And the other is, you know, sometimes our systems really provoke us. Yes. You know, um, things don't work, you know, people get agitated, you know, people uh, rise up in arms and all the, and, and it's very so evident in Africa um, and other parts of the world as well in recent times. Um, and so one other area is, that are connected with the story is that if, when a system pushes you to the edge, how do you respond? Yes. You know, and we can see that in how um, the 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 Ben, the arm robber, yeah. sorry, I said the arm robber, the, <laughs> the, the 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 criminal, the one yeah. who's who robbed the bank. Yeah. So that was know. Ben was your Ben was your um, role. Oh no, Ben was um, John Demiller's Demiller's role. So okay, so your role was uh, you were. Um, you were wrongfully accused and imprisoned for the crime that John DeMillo ca carried out. Okay, so yeah. So, yeah. And, and the system had pushed him to the edge that he, he had found no way out than to you know, commit the crime. Yes. But once again, the flip side of the coin is that even if the, push, the system pushes you to the edge, yes. do you still commit crime? You know, because at the end of the day, there are consequences, even though, even though you may be justified because you, you have to survive as a human being. But then again, you, you also have to be careful that you, you are still within the laws of the state, within the laws, you know, universal laws. And so the, the, these are some of the highlights in, in the story that really I connected to. And I said, look, Amma, fine. I'm on board. <laughs> so Amma, was she the one that wrote the, uh, was she the, who wrote the movie? No, actually, it wasn't Amma who wrote it. You know, she came on board as an actress like me, and as an actor. And but later on, she saw the need: why not um, be a producer for this movie? And, and so that was where it, it started. So the three of you in a movie: uh, John DeMello, Ama, and yourself. Is what was it like working with them on this movie? Well, fortunately, we, we've worked in the past before, and so it was it was you know it was just a family team teamwork you know at play. Um, the, those. The chemistry was there, you know. For me, it was um, I think my second time or third time working with Amake, you know. So you know, we well, the chemistry was just there. Um, it was just very relaxed atmosphere. Um, we knew that I, I knew personally that these are professionals at work, and so I come on. I, I, whenever I leave set and I go home, I do my homework very well because I know that they're going to give 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 their very best and yes. so you know that that kind of respect and and professionalism was yes. was at play every time on set 
Okay. Um, in terms of your acting career, um, how did it all start for you? Well, strangely, I never saw myself as an actor. I, I mean, in the future, I never saw myself that way at all. I thought that I always was fascinated by the, fa by the way people will take characters that they're, they're not in real life and play it so well. And so I love movies very well. But I remember when I was uh, in my teens, um, back home, we had this TV theater drama, you know, going on. And uh, one of my friends asked me to accompany him for a, a drama rehearsal. And so I did. And when I went, they were rehearsing a script. But then I think one of the cast members hadn't turned up. And so the then director asked me to step in to read the part so that the other actors would be able to read the, you know, play their part. And so I did that. And after, the director looked at me strangely and said, ask me, have I done acting before? How, how old were you at the time? I was in my teens, so yeah. probably late teens, uh, about 19 years. And, and, and I said, no, other than, you know, the, the basic, uh, you know, school Christmas kind of plays that we do, Easter plays, the normal seasonal things. That was, that was very serious, you know. And so he, he threw me a challenge and said that, look, if I do turn up subsequently for rehearsals, this will end, end, be, end up being my first TV thing, acting. And so I said, why not? Okay. So I came subsequently and, you know, um, that, that happened to be my first TV thing. You know, and from there That's on, really good. Everybody kept encouraging me. So that, that, that was your first production? And what was your what was this first production? What was it? Was it uh, uh, a movie or was it just a, just a TV TV uh, drama? Right. Okay. What was that called? Um, um, oops, I forgot the title. But not without a fight. I not without a fight. <laughs> okay. And from then on, the well, doors well, opened know, up, and yeah, you've yeah. done lots of things after that. Lots right. of shoots, lots right. of movies, and now Double Cross. Right. Okay. So. Um, how has that how has that changed your life in terms of um uh obviously knowing that being uh on screen um you have lots of people who now know who you are on screen and obviously everywhere you go people will be uh following you around for one thing or the other so how has that changed your life how has it affected your life since then well Two, two, two ways. I mean, positively, it has in the sense that, you know, you, you, I mean, I walk down the street of Accra or I go to town and you realize that there's so many people looking up to you, especially the younger generation. And, you know, they, they, they idolize you. They, they want you to be their mentor. And, and so I'm, I'm really, it's really kept me on my toes. You know, um, when I step out there, I'm careful what I say, what I do. You know, because my actions are going to be judged. Yes. Um, I think that we, we I, I've come to realize that we have a, such a powerful platform in order to impact lives out there, impact society. And so I don't take that lightly at all. Um, the, 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 other, the other side is that it, it gives you, you know, it doesn't give you enough private privacy. You know, it comes with with with, 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 that, with our work, and and sometimes it can be really tasking. Um, you know, you 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 really have to try as much as possible always to, you know, be putting up a smile, a beautiful face when you step out there, even when you know you may you may be having a bad day. You know, and and so sometimes it can be really really demanding. Um, I think that when when you are thrown into the limelight as well, everybody wants. To engage you, um, sometimes even beyond what we do in terms yeah. of acting, you yeah. know, um, they, they, they want to, you to honor an invitation that has to do with maybe a public sector business yeah. or yeah. you know whatever. And 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 if you're not careful, you 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 you, you overwork yourself yeah. and you, you definitely break down. And so th these are these are some of the, the uh, sides yeah exactly got the positive sides as well. Oh, yeah. um, so basically, to balance your acting career with your personal life, I guess that would be very difficult because I know um, from the little I know that um, acting is quite demanding and being on set and sometimes you're away from home for such a, a very long space of time, like now you're obviously away from yeah. So how do, you, how do you tend to um, uh, explain that to your family, how do, you know, to be able to get them to be on your side 
on yeah. this? I, th- I think it's, 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 it's always an issue of balance, you know. Um, you don't want to be doing too much of that, you know, because... Uh, but but of course I'm, I must mention that I, I have an understanding wife who understands you know what my industry uh, the demands of my industry and so she she can understand um, however I do try to make time as well for family you know family commitments etc because if you're not careful then you you leave the home front you know yeah. and your focus is where doing your work and you may be making the, the money all right yeah. but you know when you go, get home and that there's no peace at home then yeah. you know you, I, I i judge my success based on how successful i am yes. from the home front yes. first and foremost yes. not from out there yes. and 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 so once i have that i'm at peace to do my work and so it's, it's always a, a, an issue of balance and yeah. you know sometimes we engage yeah. to know whether okay i'm gonna do this job at this time or not it doesn't it's not convenient for the family yeah. because of certain family commitments you know yeah. so we, we dialogue a lot and, and that has really kept me well, they always say behind every successful man is a successful woman. So I guess um, your wife is basically supporting you, and um, which is quite key to having this challenging career as well. I mean, um, obviously, um, you've traveled all the way from um, Ghana to, to the UK. And I guess that was with an intention to basically... Um, ex- give more exposure right. to the work that you are doing so in terms of uh, target around um, international exposure is there any particular uh, person in the international movie industry that you want to work with or are there specific targets that you have that you want to um, get in the international yeah, so what's your international um, target, more or less? Right. Well, surprisingly, my international target has, has been from the stage front. You know, okay. um, I, 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 I did a lot of stage uh, productions, you know, w- w- when I was up and coming. Yeah. Um, and so that, that tends to be uh, more driven to the international market. Yeah. I would, I would, I, I've done um, a number of, uh, I've worked with... Um, um, MC Deza is a, a French company. Yeah. Um, they they into theatre, real yeah. theatre, and we, we've we've toured with a French production that has been adapted to South African, you know, um, community, and we toured with with, with that production um, for about fourteen African countries, yeah. and then um, other parts in France, yeah. and and so that, that that kind of relationship still exists. Yeah. Um, in the film front, I I beyond beyond perhaps. Um, Africa, um, I'm, I'm, we're, we're still on the verge of doing certain collaborations with, with some um, um, producers in the diaspora yeah. um, who also have links with other um, students who have just come up from the film school in New York, etc. So that yeah. is still ongoing. Yeah. Um, but that, I'm, I'm, I'm really hope, looking forward to that because I think that you know, we all have dreams that we would want to work with the best that people like the Mel Gibsons, the Anthony Hopkins. But for me, I think that starting it, it's for me to to, to see to, to 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 sort of um measure yeah. my 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 myself my yeah. ability yeah. and and not to go big yeah. and realize that oh no um you know i haven't really yeah. really gotten the height that i really wanted to yeah. so i want to start small yeah and then you know climb higher lots of people quite see you as big <laughs> well, you know, but but I, y- y- you must know yourself. You know, yeah. I think that yeah, there's there's more for us to learn. And yeah. the, the moment we tell ourselves that look, we haven't arrived yet, yes. uh, we may have made so much impact in 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 our, in our spaces and uh, wherever that we've gone to. But deep down, you know that there's more for you to learn. There's yeah. more for um, variety that you need to explore yeah. in order to be a better actor. And yeah. and I, I always want to. W- 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 want to see myself as that yeah. know, as such so is uh, Hollywood uh, something that you hopefully one day oh yeah I mean, I mean to? no two ways about that I yeah. mean it's, it's, it's for every actor I think that's that's our biggest dream um, but of course I'd, I'd also want to um, feather my schooling again okay. um, I have plans to even go into the New York film um, school oh, okay um, yeah. so you know to I think that one of the things that as actors that we should 
not forget yeah. is is to continue to refresh refresh in ourselves Definitely. to re-educate ourselves yeah. you know because you know um, things things keep in when you compare ourselves to the west yeah you know they 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 this always stepping up the game they're always yes. stepping up the game yeah. and we we can't sit where we in our comfort zones and expect that we'll catch up there's okay. no way so we also need to you know invest in the field that we are in yeah. so that we'll reap the the, the, the benefits so yeah, that, that, those are some of my dreams so if you are looking at the african movie industry today right. um in terms of where we are now right um, do you think that there are impro- that, that there is a need for improvement in what we do? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, across board, uh, all spheres. Um, I think that, and, and truly, there, there there have been some very good, brilliant, quality works from Africa. Yeah. There's no two ways about that. Um, I think that even though it seems that the quality movies are in the minority, though. Yeah. Um, but I think that in all spheres. Now, let me take even Ghana as an as an example. I think that it's it's very easy for people to um, be content with what they have because they're making um, sales. You know, yeah. their income is coming in. But you, you 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 want to go stretch yourself to to reach the international market. Yeah. And so you know, how will I invest in things like sound equipment? Yeah. How will I invest in in, 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 in in things like you know technical know-how in, in lights, etc. You may have all the best e- equipments. I always say that, look, you can have all the best equipment that the, the, the is used in the yeah, West. Yeah. But how do you apply that? Yeah. The skill to apply that is something else. The application. And I, application. Yeah. And so that is where I think that most of the times we lack. Right. And so it's, it's not having the skill and technical know-how to apply that magnificent camera, that, 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 that sound equipment that you have yeah. in order to give your... Your, your your production you know that aesthetic you know uniqueness yeah. that you know when when people from the west see the like, oh we will raise eyebrows yeah. so i think that we must invest especially in the skill yeah. um unfortunately we don't have too many institutions yeah. um back home um but but even with the minimum that we the, the little that we have yeah. people are not even patronizing them yeah. fully yeah. Yeah. so i think that there must be that desire for us to really push ourselves to, to be able to get those skills yeah. so that when we're given any platform we can deliver and that for me is, is, is what so so what in terms of this is this issue what do you think in terms of support maybe from um, organizations maybe from government right. um, what do you think could be done better right. obviously um, looking at um, African films as a product that can actually be exported out of Africa. Right. So what do you think organizations can do to support this? Right. And what do you think government can do to right. make this right. work better? Right. I think a similar question was posed to me um, some few months ago. And you know, the moment you talk about things like this, you know, then people are expecting that, oh, you're going to come up with a huge budget and we don't <laughs> have money. You know, I understand that times, you know, yeah. these are difficult times. Yeah. But then, it's, it's sometimes not always about the money. Yeah. You know, th- there's certain contacts that, you know, um, people in, in, in the government level can make with the outside world where it's, it's like, okay, with, with, with equipment, even, even, even donating equipment to the institution yeah. or just sponsoring, um, you know, some director or well-known um, um, industry guy to come in there to share his skill yeah. and, and sort of, for people to learn yeah. so it's not about we ask for money to put in our pockets or buy us this buy us that but the, the, the networking out there you know because they are in that level can easily make those contacts and i think that they should explore that so that we can have that benefits out yeah. there because we really need education in that direction yeah. we really do need education in that direction. right yeah. now um in terms of uh you did mention going to the Met School uh, in in New York, the film, the, and and, and um, in terms of uh, production, uh, being uh, you know going to that level of your career, is that something that um, we will, should 
we will be expecting to see from you producing um, your own movies in the future? Well, you, you never can tell. I, it's, it's, still, it's still something that I think about a lot. And yes. so, well, I mean, I, I'm sure that that will be an opener for me. Um, that will give me more confidence and yeah. uh, much more confirmation, yeah. you know, um, because I wouldn't want to go into any field without having enough yeah. skill or knowledge. Um, I always say that look, it's 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 brilliant to find some of our actors yeah. um, going into production, yeah. um, but I think that I think it's 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 sometimes it's a bit hasty for us to transform ourselves from actors into directors or producers. Yeah. Um, it's encouraging, yeah. but I would rather we have an additional skill in that direction because being a director and being an actor are two different fields. Yeah. They may have similarities, yes, but you know, it's, it's a totally different skill. And and so you'd, you'd want to take up a course or something in that direction so that you upgrade yourself mm -hmm. to deliver. And and so, yeah, I, 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 I think that for me, that's the reason why I think that going into a film institute um, to learn certain things to add to what I already know would help yeah. me and giving me enough confidence to say that okay wait today if i'm tomorrow if i'm putting up a production yeah. then i know that okay we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna do it and, and and push it to the very high, high highest point yeah. okay so um a couple more questions which i think uh, i would have it would okay. be um in terms of do you um do you have a preference to the uh types of roles that you will play in a movie well, no, very limited. I, I really, I really don't have a preference per se. You know, I, I see every. I wouldn't want to. Of course, what I wouldn't want to do is to keep on playing the same type of or to be typecast. Um, you know, um, tomorrow I find myself as an arm robber. The next day I find myself as a saint or a pastor. Or, you know, um, you know, I, I, I want, I want to open up myself for the variation of roles. Um, you know, in that way, then I can I can speak directly to specific professions, you know, and industries, and, and so I, that, that is what I think um, um, I I would want to do, um, and so I really don't have preferences if you ask me. I mean, in terms of the movie last night, um, it was for me um, addressing a particular um, sort of character, um, which most more to deal with loyalty and betrayal and um so in terms of storylines um it was quite meaningful educational and people can relate to it and some movies sometimes might not have that sort of storyline so i mean have you actually in the past tried writing or maybe try to influence a storyline um yeah. oh yeah i have i mean and you know the the, the couple of films that I did, you know, um, voice out, um, especially because, and, and of course, because the director gave us that room to, um, you know, and so I, I questioned a certain ending of a movie. And I thought that, look, we have, we have a medium that we can use to, as I said, transform people's lives, transform society or provoke certain questions. And you know, there was this movie that I, I was engaged with and there was this guy who was just molesting people, claiming family lives, etc. And then at the end, he's just forgiven by the wife and they live happily ever after. What I said was, what I proposed to the director was after reading the script was, this of course might have happened in real life. Some Somebody somewhere in the world will relate to it. But I think that the medium we have is the power of how we can tell our stories. It's an art. And so we can decide that, okay, even though this happened in real life, we will twist it. This guy is going to go through some process yeah. of whether retaliation um, or, or pain for what he did yeah. consequentially. So that the message you're sending across there is that y you can't get away with the, the, the irresponsible things that you do in real life. You know, so when I when I talked to him about it, he he got my sense, and he had to rewrite the ending. Okay. You know, so <laughs> you know, I and and of course, if he hadn't taken it, mm. fine. But but I think that th these are some of the opportunities that we have, and you know, we just have to take make use of it. Absolutely. Properly. 
So in terms of what you're working on at the moment, um, any uh, upcoming projects that you've got on the go and what can your fans out there um, expect to see more coming out from you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working on, well, I've, I've, I've finished working on Interception, which would be out in December, um, but I'm currently going into another. Um, of course, I'm in training as, as I speak. Um, okay. We have the stunt director who um, is engaging us in martial arts and, and you know, certain fight choreographies. Yeah. Um, he is a graduate of the New York Film School, so he specializes in stunt directing. Yeah. And so, you know, we, it's about time that we got those elements very right. Yeah. Um, I've seen a couple of attempted, you know, uh, films in terms of fighting, which looked a bit, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. uh, unbelievable. So. Yeah. When I was excited when on this production we had a real stunt choreographer yeah. who had really this was his specialized area okay. and we're working with him and right. so um, you're going to see a very smart Ajete a very <laughs> very very agile Ajete in the next production that is yeah. that we're going to mm -hmm. shoot soon mm -hmm. hopefully that should come out um, early January thereabouts okay. yeah so that's the last to come from yeah that's oh, yeah. Okay, just to, before you go, okay. I know um, you've got lots of fans out there, right. and there are lots of young people um, yeah. who want to or look up to you and want to probably say to yourself, hmm, I want to be that when I grow up. I what would be your, um, as their role model, right. um, what would be your, um, your advice, your guide on how to on your guide your advice to them on how to if they want to take on a career in right. acting how to actually pursue that career right. yeah right well i mean first of all um the acting is not all about glamour you know it's 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 this there's, there's a temptation to feel that it's all glamour because you know we're always in the limelight etc but it, it's a lot of hard work a lot of discipline um, people walk up to me and say they want to be like me. I tell them, no, be more than me, you know, because I would have failed my, my, the next generation if they are just like me or below me. They should be better than me. And, and that's the only way we can make headways into our industry. And so it's a lot of hard work, a lot of discipline, because there's so many things that can distract your attention and before you know, you, you, you're going down the hill. And so just keep that in mind that, and, and look out for the positive. Take away the, all the positives from me and not the negatives because yeah. I'm not perfect, Absolutely. you know, so, but lots of hard work and, and being humble, you know, um, knowing that you can learn from anybody, um, whether a five-year-old or a 90-year-old, be ready to learn from anybody. And that's the only way you can improve on your skill and, and then be a better actor than any of us. Well, JT Anan. Thank you for being on the Afro Film Talk Show. And uh, we hope to see you back in the UK promoting more movies and seeing you great more, doing more stuff. Thank you for being here today. Thank you so much. Hi, lovely people. This is Ajete Anan, and you're watching Afro Films. Stay tuned.